desktop space has a huge impact on your productivity and enjoying content. Adding a second monitor really benefits streaming and multitasking, and a third offers even more, including the ability to have a game spanned across the displays for some amazing gaming action. Hi, I'm Rick, and we're going to show you how to connect monitors, how to set up dual monitors, and build a triple monitor setup. With two screens, you can stream or have videos and game guides up while you play, and three makes streaming super easy with all the extra room. And trying spanned triple monitor gaming is really cool, giving the feeling of total immersion. Please take a moment to subscribe to MSI Gaming for the latest news and tutorials. Connecting your first monitor, or if you're looking at how to connect dual monitors, is really easy. On the back of the monitor, we'll connect the power cable and a cable to carry video. This monitor has dual HDMI, DisplayPort, and DisplayPort over USB Type-C inputs. We'll choose DisplayPort, and one corner is angled, so line that up to plug it in. If your monitor has a squarish USB upstream port, you can connect this if you want to plug your keyboard and mouse in through your monitor. On the back of your PC, plug in the DisplayPort or HDMI and the optional USB upstream if you want. Note that while HDMI you can just pull to remove, the DisplayPort connector has a latch you'll need to press in to remove the cable. With the monitor power cord plugged into a socket, the display may turn on or press the power button and you may see your PC's desktop. You may need to enable the new monitor and if you still don't see anything after this, see the section on cables. We should check our resolution and refresh rate to make sure they're correct. Exit any games and stop videos playing before monitor adjustment or it may reset some display settings. You can right click on an empty area on the desktop or search and choose display settings. Click on identify to see which monitor number you're looking at and click on the monitor that needs enabling. Click the drop down menu and extend these displays. Your screen may flash for a moment. Click keep changes to keep the new settings. Here you can also adjust the position of the monitors by dragging them to a new spot and when you're done, click apply. In Scale and Layout, we'll check that display resolution matches our monitor's native resolution, which is the recommended setting here. Scrolling down to Related Settings, we'll click on Advanced Display to check our refresh rate. The top bar says Select a Display and make sure your new monitor is selected. Below the information, you'll see Choose a Refresh Rate. And since ours can do 170 Hz, we'll click on that and keep changes to set it. You can check your other monitor's info here too, and this is correct for our other display. Clicking back or the display text up top, you can adjust the scale if things are too small, and orientation if you've rotated your monitor. Plan to wire up all high-res, high-refresh monitors with DisplayPort. DisplayPort just works and gives you the full FPS, as many gaming monitors have a limit with HDMI. With a dual or triple monitor setup, plan to use long cables to reach, plus cable manage your DisplayPort wires. Don't use DisplayPort to HDMI adapters as they cause issues, usually max at 75Hz, and don't allow FreeSync. Using G-Sync, that's generally supported on DisplayPort only. Recent GPUs have three DisplayPorts and just one HDMI, and HDMI 2.1 supports the highest refresh rates, but all three, your graphics card output, cable, and display input must be HDMI 2.1 spec. Connecting with HDMI or DisplayPort, if you're having trouble reaching high frame rates, have repeating dropouts, or pixel shimmering, or don't see a picture, there's various possible reasons. From incorrect or loose display connections, one link in the output cable input chain, as mentioned, or it's possible your cable may be outdated or damaged. Try testing with a new DisplayPort cable. Let's see how to set up triple monitors in software. Spanning a game across three monitors has the best performance with three matching spec monitors. For example, testing this out with a 1440p 170Hz gaming monitor and some spare displays with a 1080p 60Hz panel in the mix, when you span the displays, you'll be limited by the monitor with the lowest resolution or frame rate for all three. In the NVIDIA control panel, click on Configure Surround. We'll check Span Displays with Surround and click Configure. We can adjust the layout and see our new resolution and refresh rate and do bezel correction. 
Click Enable, and after a bit, it'll be ready for gaming. For AMD, iFinity software has similar configuration settings. Google your game to see if it can do triple monitor, as support varies a lot. It may require small tweaks, mods, or editing the game file settings. Some games may look warped, and UI elements may be in the far corners, so key commands or macros may help. As you're gaming on more screens, FPS will be affected. For pixels, 1440p is double 1080p resolution, and 120Hz is double 60Hz for FPS, which is also a multiplier. So you'll need to dial down visuals and have a decent GPU too. Playing your favorite games on this setup is really awesome. First-person shooters like Fortnite gain a tactical advantage by expanding peripheral vision. Marvel's Spider-Man Remastered and Miles Morales are optimized for 48 by 9 and action titles have breathtaking vistas. And in racing games like Forza Horizon 5, it enhances the sense of speed, and there's flight, space games, soccer, and more. We've looked at how to set up dual monitors and triple monitors, which offer a big advantage for gamers. More screens give lots of room for broadcasting software, monitoring stream alerts, chat, watching and sharing content, and more. For a dual or triple monitor setup, we recommend our 27-inch MSI MAG 275 CQRF QD, a 1000R curved 1440p monitor with a 170Hz refresh rate and 10-bit color. Using curved monitors offers a seamless panoramic experience, and filling your field of view, eye care is crucial. Less blue light and anti-flicker technology is on board to reduce eye strain. Rapid VA provides a smooth, ultra-fast 1 millisecond gray-to-gray -gray response for a crystal clear image and significantly reduced motion blur. The quantum dot layer enhances color accuracy with a higher color saturation, providing excellent color space coverage. The last bit of hardware to consider is mounts for your triple monitor setup. MSI monitors are compatible with standard VESA mounts, which would free up a ton of space on our desk. We hope this How to Connect Monitors guide helped you and we have more how-to guides, link is in the description, for setting up for streaming to improve your interaction with your viewers, and for connecting to a laptop to boost your productivity. Don't forget to give this video a like, and make sure to subscribe to MSI Gaming. And you can visit the MSI website to see our whole selection of monitors with their specs. Have fun gaming, and see you next time.